What's good, grocery bullies? Welcome to my channel once again. Like and subscribe. Also, before I start this video, if you want to join the Facebook community, you can join mine's Broad Street Bullies Fantasy on Facebook. Um, basically, look, real quick video. Deshaun Watson is the ultimate sleeper QB. He's like the wild card because let's say if you have a draft strategy to go um, early QB, but you don't get um, the, Jalen, the Josh Allens, the Jalen Hurts, the Patrick Mahomes, or even uh, Justin Fields, or the the, the the Herberts, the Burrows, whatever. After all them uh, quarterbacks, you can get, you know, Tua and Deshaun Watson around the same, like the same price range. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what their ADP is, but I know they're kind of like going around. They're like the QBs you take after the consensus top QBs are took in. And it's like with Deshaun Watson, we've already seen what he can do uh from a from a real life NFL perspective and from a fantasy football perspective. Before Deshaun Watson um had that little trouble with all the allegations and stuff, he was a top two, three fantasy QB. He was up there with the Patrick Mahomes and stuff like that. So um, now he's, you know, he's in Cleveland. He's in his second full year. Uh, he had six games to at least, you know, get back into it. But now this season, you know, they made offseason moves. They added Elijah Moore. Um, I think they, they drafted the, the rookie Trent Dill. You still got David Njoku, Nick Chubb. You got uh, Amari Cooper there. So it's no reason to think that Deshaun Watson can't return back to form in terms of uh, what he was doing prior to him being out of the NFL. So, I mean, like, Deshaun Watson, and then also, you know, he can provide a rushing floor for you, too. You know he has a potential to throw. Like, Deshaun Watson has the potential out of all, like, he has the potential to throw at least 35 to 40 touchdowns. That's the type of person, the type of player Deshaun Watson is. Um, so I think that if you're going early QB and like we like like people know, you shouldn't lock yourself into a certain draft strategy. If you're going early QB, sometimes it might not fall. Like sometimes say like if you're targeting Josh Allen, maybe you don't get him depending on the size of your league. Maybe you're targeting Jalen Hurts or Lamar Jackson. You don't get those people you will be good if you pick up Deshaun Watson. Now, on the other side, the flip side, it's like, if you want to think negative or uh, pessimistic about Deshaun Watson, you can think, is he's this year Russell Wilson? I mean, but fantasy football is just pure speculation, so we don't know. But just based on track history, we can possibly guess that Deshaun Watson can at least be another top five QB and you might not have to take him second third round like most of these early QBs are going uh you might can wait to the fourth fifth round and you know make your team solid get yourself a running back or a tight end or a couple wide receivers like uh so Deshaun Watson's definitely that ultimate sleeper. And personally, in my opinion, I do believe that he could be like a league winning quarterback but um, because of the value you're going to get. Like, so we're going to see. I mean, if you're willing to wait for people like Kirk Cousins or Geno Smith, but you're not willing to take a shot on Deshaun Watson, I don't, I don't know what to tell you, but we're going to see. So basically, look. I do think Deshaun Watson can be a top five, top 10 fantasy QB because he's already done it before. And um, all signs are pointing up. All arrows are pointing up for Deshaun Watson. So, um, look, this, that's it. I'm done with this video. Like and subscribe. Follow my page, uh, Broad Street Bullies Fantasy Football. I commission pay in free leagues. So if you follow that page, shoot me an inbox. I can get you in some leagues. All right, I'm out.